for Oddball Guardian. Once again, Scott, Oddball Guardian is back on the circuit. Tell me about this game type. We haven't seen it for a couple of events. You know, I'm really glad they bring it back. It's a nice change of pace because there's so many things you can do on this map. There's blue control, you can have snipe control, you can hold the ball at green. Any strat that you can formulate will work on this game type, and that's what makes it so interesting. And we are starting this game out with Cloud, who is hit by a grenade to open this one up. But he was able to hide in blue for a minute, then take down the sniper for Believe the Hype and Maniac. All four dead, though, for Instinct. We're going to jump on board with a pure gangster. He's got that snipe. Gotta love the team shot again from Believe the Hype there. Helping out a pure gangster on Snipe 2 with Cloud. He's finally going to be taken off. And did the Snipe fall off the map, guys? I think it's still on. Right, well, I don't see it in the hands of any of the players. It looked like it went out. We Maniac was the last member alive for Believe the Hype. We're staying on board, though, with a pure gangster through his respawn. And Brick is back up in the booth. Brick, what do you got for us? He's getting all headsetted up here. Hey, Chris. Uh, final boss just went up 2-0 on straight ripping, winning 50-43 to on TS Heretic. Wow. And Classic took down Carbon 2-1 in overtime and pit CTF. And Triggers Down took down Heaven and Earth 3-2 in overtime on so pit to, CTF. So to sum that up, Brick, what are we looking at series scores for those uh, that are just joining us? It's 1-0, one one, oh, Triggers Down over Heaven and Earth. 1-0 Classic over Carbon, and 2-0 Final Boss over Straight Rippin'. All right, and right now you're watching, it is 1-1 one one Instinct versus Believe the Hype here on the main stage. You're watching a pure gangster still from BTH, just 15-8 to eight after two minutes. Very slow game so far, Scott. Neither team really able to set up yet. And the reason that is is because when one team has a set up on one side and the other team spawning on the other, as soon as they kill one person, that person's going to spawn behind them initially so they have to keep an eye on that you can't just do a full out rush because the person you killed is going to be behind you you got to play it nice and slow and keep an eye out and we are now switching over to Destin. he sniped too he just got charged by roy and lunchbox there we're going to jump on board with let's check out cloud he's going elbow here i like what he's doing top blue already so while Roy was set up on Snipe Tower, Cloud left Snipe 2, he went green, and now he's going to be able to steal that oddball if he can pick up this kill on APG, and he wasn't able to. So APG, the only player from BTH in position, has stopped Instinct from grabbing the ball, and he does a great job of staying alive in top blue. But here we go. We finally have that ball moving in the hands of Instinct, or in the hands of Believe the Hype. They're bringing it to Snipe Tower where Instinct is set up. Now, for a second there, I thought he was grabbing the ball and moving it towards Sniper to make them go underneath to Sniper, and I was going to say it's a smart play. But I guess they just love Snipe control. And I think they thought they could overwhelm the two players. We're at Snipe, but Cloud came from bottom middle with that mauler and really did a lot of damage. And now Cloud has the Sniper to work with after picking up a kill on one of the BTH members. Setting up for no scopes, quick scopes. Can't get anything working right now, but Lunchbox is really playing well. His battle rifle is starting to heat up, Scott. So Instinct's oddball setup, kind of intriguing here. They sent Lunchbox on a very aggressive attack while the other two guys were protecting the oddball and Cloud was up top sniping. His sniper was not very efficient. They weren't able to stop any of the pushes and believe the hype took over Snipe Tower, and now they have the oddball control in the hands of Maniac. Now, there's this one thing I'm gonna say, and you're gonna think it's a complete lie, but by body shotting those people in top blue, they will continue to spawn there, and you don't have to worry about top gold. If you know they're spawning gold, and you can body shot them and keep them there, it's, you're better off that way. And right now you're watching Demon D again here for Believe the Hype as he picks up the kill on Roy. His battle rifle so crisp. And that camo just came up. It looks like El Might Warrior has it. We're going to jump on board with him. He's got a player top gold to work against. And he's wow. going to be taken down. So a wasted camo. No need to charge from El Might. He did it anyway. We're going back on board with Cloud. He's got the sniper rifle for instinct. Hey, guys, do not take the chairs from outside of the ropes. From outside the ropes for a reason. Do not take the chairs outside of the ropes. Or away from their stations. And only one should be playing right now. No issue warming up. 
All right, Scott, so taking a look at the setup here for, for Instinct, you have Cloud. It's so hard not to say believe the hype when I'm watching Cloud. Yeah. Cloud is sitting bottom green. He was doing, he's on a killing spree right now. Meanwhile, you have Roy, who just spawned top blue. He's going to push top middle. Lunchbox is trying to protect that ball as he is now the last member alive for Instinct. So basically, the setup that I was just about to describe got slaughtered. Believe the hype, constantly breaking their setup. What's going right for BTH, but why can't they set up themselves? Well, as long as you get one dead at Snipe Tower, you can hit the airlift, and then you can take over Snipe Control. And then that puts Cloud in the predicament. He either has to jump top middle and put shots in that way, or go up elbow. And if you go up elbow, you're going to get naded to death instantly. So he's in a dilemma. What he should do there is just take his time and wait for his teammates to spawn. If they can get that green spawn, then they can send two guys top middle, a guy bottom middle, and a guy elbow, and that'll take over snipe control. And we're going to go on board with a pure gangster. He just picked up the sniper rifle, and he's got the oddball in his hands. And it's interesting that you talk about that. One thing that when I look at this Instinct squad that really stands out to me is their structure and positioning. When you look at this Instinct squad, they really position themselves around the ball very well. They're just not winning those individual battles. That's why they haven't gotten that big chunk of time. And Lunchbox stealing the sniper rifle from a pure gangster. <laughs> Meanwhile, Demon D staying alive with the oddball. We're going to not go to him because he just was taken down. Let's check out Lunchbox, though. He's got that rifle. And we just saw a camo being picked up from a member of the blue team. It's destined for Believe the Hype. He's trying to be sneaky here. Top gold Lunchbox is looking for him. And he's waiting for a cloud to try and light him up. But Destin's going to pick up the beatdown instantly. So Scott, what's more important here? You have the sniper at Snipe Tower, you have the camo over top gold, and the oddballs in the middle. What would you prefer to have? I would definitely prefer to have the camo because if you can get the camo, you want to push the Snipe Tower. I made the mistake back in 2008 of pushing green with the camo, and I got taken down instantly. Well, if you get to Snipe Tower, just like uh, Destin did, if you can get to Snipe Tower, you can take out the sniper, and then the guys are stuck at green, and you know they're going to spawn there. So you can just nade them, and they are stuck there. So you, as soon as you get the camo, just push the Snipe Tower, and you will always get control. And right now you're watching All Might Warrior Cloud just played the ball 76 to 68. Demon D's ability to stay alive. Oh, that's an overkill from Dustin, by the way. Got to call that out. Props to Dustin. Um, <laughs> check out his beauty. <laughs> Maniac has the ball for Believe the Hype as they take the lead here. And it all started with Demon D getting shot on Sniper Tower, jumped from Snipe 2 down to Snipe 1, and hung onto that ledge a little bit. Yep. Not a move we see many of the pros make. Yeah, but that's going to be a, that's definitely a playmaker move right there, Chris. And in, it's back and forth, back and forth, guys. Let's just uh, lay out for a bit and crank. Crank, which team do you want to listen to? Believe the Hype or Instinct? Because we're going to stay on them for two minutes. I want to go with Instinct because, or actually, no. I want to go with Believe the Hype just because I saw him take over control. 